I am not joking. I could not believe it when I saw it. They have just buffed a new tank to be the best tank in the game, and it has to be the IS-7, because just last week, the Conqueror was the best tank in the game, then suddenly, out of the blue, it was the IS-7. <laughs> All joking aside, guys, um, let me show you what I, what I mean here. I was just on Eclipse's channel, and I'm scrolling through, and I'm thinking to myself, holy moly, there is so much content here for me to um, pick apart. It's nuts. Uh, and the first thing I see is this one. Insane! Free to play! Best tech tree tank is insane. And it's the IS-7. I'm like, oh, that's a valid argument. I think the IS-7 absolutely is. And then I go back just one week. Best tank. Best tank. This one, this one's different. This one says, the IS-7 says best tech tree tank. Oh, okay, okay. But this one says just best tank in general. But wait a minute. They're both tech tree. And so clearly... If this was the best tank last week, the Conqueror, and the IS-7 is the best tank this week, then the IS-7 must have been buffed, am I correct? No, joke, all jokes aside, there is, holy moly, I'm going through this stuff, there is so much continuity, it's unbelievable. Um, but we're going to play both, we're going to play the, the best tank in the game. And the, apparently tank is plural, we're playing the best tank in the game, there's no S there, it's just the best tank. Um, the Conqueror and IS-7. And then uh, I will tell you what I believe to be the best tank in the game. And then next week, I will tell you what I believe the best tank in the game is. And then the week after, I might also tell you about a rare, insane tank that nobody plays. Which is the best tank in the game? But, but uh, oh, wait a minute. I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's just play the Conqueror. Let's see. Is this tank truly the best tank in the game? And is it truly no longer as good as the IS-7? Is the IS-7 now the new king? Let's see what my loadout is. Ignore my loadout, guys. Um... We don't do that. We are not filthy unicums who spam gold. We spam standard. <laughs> My last video, also, I need to close this door. One second. Bye! She didn't answer. She hates me. Uh, My last video, oh, somebody had mentioned that YouTubers cherry pick their games, and while that's true, I'm not one of those YouTubers. When I play live for you, I play live. There ain't no cherry picking. Ooh, look at this perfect matchmaking that I paid for. No artillery. We're top tier. Shh. We didn't. We didn't pay for it. Did you just say bye? Yes, because I closed the door. Oh. Okay. Hi. Hi. Bye. Bye. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Anyway, <laughs> back, ah, uh, where were we? Oh yes, the best tank in the game, which is no longer the best tank in the game because the other tank must have been buffed or maybe they nerfed this one. No, I'm just kidding, it's all clicks. And that is something to me that is oh so dangerous, is when you are such a big content creator and you're playing a game where there's a ton of new players and the new players absolutely suck at the game and they're the ones that are absolutely destroying the game you have the biggest audience, you have the most new players watching you you have to deliver honesty you have this huge platform and you're not using it to make the game better if anything you're using it to make it worse because you're confusing people, because you're throwing out lies. You're only posting things and making thumbnails and all this stuff literally for clicks. And hey, it's working for him, right? He's got all these views. Good for him. He's making some money on YouTube. Good for him. Nothing against that at all. I never wanted to be the top content creator at the time. And then I became it. It just happened. Um, now he is. Congratulations to him. We quit, stepped away for, for like four years ago, and never really looked back. But here we are, posting again, and I just want to break the stupidity. I'm gonna say it. Break what uh, what's been said, which frankly isn't true. There's a lot of stuff that goes on over in that channel that just is kind of weird. And so, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun uh, talking about some of those posts. Today, it's, we're talking about the best tank of the game, as stated by. This 
stated by him. And and there's a he's not wrong about this tank possibly being the best tank in the game. There is no one here is disagreeing with him. Ooh, that works. Bard just got Bard. Imagine. This is not good for me. Tortoise is gonna kill us probably. There was another bar and he just penned us. Oh Look at that. If you're getting killed by a bar, then yeah. This tank is no longer the best tank in the game. I think we can all agree on that. Nice. So I think he was right. We got nerfed. We got nerfed by the bar itself. Get this guy on our He's just getting bullied by the E75. We don't want to be that guy. Tortoise from range these days is not fun. Because that Coppola is... Strong now. No, don't push me out. I might be dead now. This is tortoise. Do you want to give me room? Tiny gun tortoise. What is he firing Hesh? What is this behind me? You can. Fascinating. Fascinating indeed. Ping ping. Go back to our AP. We fired one APCR and it penned, so. That's a well used shell. Threats <laughs> fine. Oh, we almost just took that because the guy got spotted and was using us to hide behind. This one off. Nice. Big kill. Let's load hash. I'd like to see if we can catch the top of that M103. Who could that have been? The Amex 30. Dude, this bar is having a game and a half. You know who's not having a game and a half? Us! With the T30 dead and the bar dead, we're gonna move along this way. And support our Brosk and what he does. Brask. Brusk. Bro. Broski. There it is. That's how you say it. You say it. Broski. Iron Rain might see us now. Okay, is he. Just him. My, that's a huge mistake there that I could have paid for with my life. But I did not, did I? Lock his key down. Let's 
so much stuff in the way now. I don't know how much view range the Russian tank has. Use right there. Owie. That hurt. You know? I have to say, I think he's right. That's no longer the best tank of the game. Alright, IS7. <laughs> Malinov got right off the bat. They even gave us a good game, a good map, but we got smoked in the side by a bar, and that's no fun. What do we have here? Dark Side, Immortals. This will be fun. People telling me I pay for my matchmaking. Oh, go kiss the ground. I don't have the money to pay for matchmaking. Do you think I'd be making YouTube videos if I could afford that? Oh my goodness. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Um, In the IS-7... I think, I think we go hill. We go hill, yeah, that's what we do. Okay, hill time. Nine seconds on this reload, that's not terrible. I want revenge on this guy. He killed me yesterday, Glare. He yoloed me too, and I was in this tank. I push one side all by my little old self just because uh, I wanted to, just to see what would happen. Um, we had the support of a Yagpanzer from behind, he ran right into it, got hit, still chased me. Set myself back up where the Yagpanzer was, and he still pushed into me and killed me. I was like, what's going on? Because the Yagpanzer had to have moved and no longer had a shot, and I was like, wow, he just wanted to kill the whole guy. But now we get to kill him! Except there's a lemming train, and we're going to have to run very, very quickly from where we're going to be, because they are all going to push this way, most likely. The Minotaur, if I was the Minotaur, I would be climbing up this hill, absolutely. If I was the E5, I also would be. So, they're going to be up here. The last game finally ended. Hopefully we won. But you guys are probably wondering, what on earth is Kong I going to say is the best tank? And by the way, it's not going to be some joke. I'm serious. When I tell and share with you what I believe the best tank in the game is, it's my honesty. Alright, it's not going to be a joke. I already did the jokes. The IS-7 has not been buffed recently, though it has been buffed before. Alright, we want to catch him as he crosses this area. We're going to go around for that. I don't believe in ghost shells, guys. I know that. I imagine that. That was a horrible shot. We have support from below, so we do want to hold this ground. As best we can.
don't know what he's doing. He's my only chance of staying alive. Another ghost shot, huh? So I'm just not able to keep up. Kill immortals, maybe? No. Not us. Do -do -do. I have some fun. To do this, go like this. Well, that's bogus. That really was a bogus time. We did what we needed to though. Two of us holding them all back. That's exactly what we needed. Unfortunately now I'm all alone. So it is time for me to uh, relocate. He's going in the wrong way. I think he doesn't realize that his base is on this side. Hello. I can just stay here and win the game. That's what I'm going to do. They don't want to push. Works for me. Look at my gun. Look at it. was uh, quite quite the awkward battle I don't know what to say as I did it but hey we won that's all that matters right the win I'll take it uh, the best tank in the game right there no okay I will show you now what I believe to be the best tank in the game there's glare GG he says GG 
Revenge. I was gonna tell him G G Revenge. Revenge. What am I doing wrong? Oh, there we go. Revenge. G. You gotta hold a grudge, guys. You gotta hold a grudge. No. Okay, next. Next. The best tank in the game is gonna have to be. Uh, in fact, this entire line, the FE422. And here is why. Because this line is so good, it's so responsive to the player. The Cromwell is arguably the best tier 6 medium tank in the game. Others may say the VK is um, 3001D or M. Yeah, there it is, 3001M. Like, now I understand. Some may even say the EZ8, some may say the Jumbo. Um, for me, it's the Cromwell. Then for others, it might be... Oh, he was distracting me. I was reading the chat. I was reading the text over on my computer side. Okay, throwing that aside. Boop, boop, boop. At tier 7, the Comet is a stud. And hands down to me, the Comet is the best tier 7 medium tank. Um, it has no penetration, and it's not very fast. But what it does have is a really low turret, 12 degrees of gun depression, incredible damage per minute, and incredible gun handling. The pen is bad. Even with your premium rounds, your penetration is bad. So you have to aim your shots. You have to learn to relocate. You have to learn to put yourself in spots where you can do damage. And when you do that, that tank is nuts at it. It is so responsive. Then the, uh, the Centurion is pretty good. It lacks a little bit these days because there are so many other Centurions which are just better. Then the Centurion 7-1. Oh, what a dream that tank is. And then you have the Action X and the FE4202. Alright, the Action X is about as Joe Average as you could ever be in this game, which is not a bad thing. It's a fantastic tank. And then there's the FE4202, which surprisingly has stupid amounts of armor. You do not have premium rounds that have high pen. Instead, they have high damage. They're Hesh. And you have to aim your shots, and because of that, I find myself having a higher win rate in this and a higher average damage. My average damage in this, I think, is like 4,100 damage per game after like 400 games. It's nuts. And obviously, that is according to me. That's my opinion. I think this is the best tank in the game. I would pull it out in competitive, too, if people would let me. But that's the thing people don't let me. We're gonna let him shoot us. The reason being is because um, I figured we'd take it, and we did. And meanwhile, this guy, this Amex, cannot. Oh, uh, somebody's aiming at me, by the way. It just told me after he had fired. On. Is this guy doing what I think he's doing? He is. We saw is the turret on this guy, the way. Uh, right where the gun is. Next, if you shoot too far to the right or left, you will bounce off. And if you shoot above, that's an auto ricochet. Hmm. Being British, we are susceptible to fires and artillery.
The only health I've taken this game is from Artie. Hmm. It's the same guy too, the 58, he's just been pounding me. He's like, I see Kong guy! Fuck, I know you do, but what am I? Hey, pig face. Hot. I'm gonna break your gun. No! 3,000 damage. So we did less than our average. What can you do? That, that the point of this video wasn't to have good games. It was kind of just to poke fun. And, uh, he knows he's doing it. Unless he doesn't. Would it, okay, now that's, that's a, that's a question for debate. Would it be better that he knows he's doing it and willingly does it, or doesn't realize he's doing it? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know what is better and what is worse. At least if he doesn't realize he's doing it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but that's it. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button, comment, and subscribe. Let me know which tank you think is the best in the game. I don't mean the most overpowered. I don't mean the most broken. I don't mean the most toxic. I mean the best. And yes, that could mean one of those things. Because, hey, the Tehran is so toxic. It's the most toxic broken tank in the game. Oh, sorry, I'm just reading another one of the video titles over here. It's the most hated and OP, unbeatable, un unplayable broken tank, most overpowered tank of all time. I'm not making this up. Look at it. Hated plus OP, unbeatable and unplayable broken tank, the most overpowered tank of all time. Oh my goodness. I had no idea. And then I clicked on his channel one day. This is hilarious. I love it. It's so funny. He makes my day. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys all later. Take care, everyone. And peace out.